You could get lost in this place. I mean, seriously, I'm lost in it right now. You will not go to the Smithsonian. You will not go to the American Society of Cinematographers Museum. You will not go anywhere else and find such examples of American cinematic craft work and the tools that made the most famous iconographic films that you can think of in your imagination uh, when you think of the word Hollywood. You know, it's here and rarely anywhere else. I don't remember anything about uh, Chaplin's films. Mm -hmm. One of his big ones was um, The Gold Rush. Mm -hmm. Here's a picture from the Gold Rush. One of those two cameras is that one. During film school, you read all these books, and you look at all these books, and you're seeing pictures of how they shot, how John Ford shot, and how Lawrence of Arabia was shot. And all of a sudden, today, I walk in, and there's those cameras. Regarding the collection, uh, it's superb. Uh, there's a history here that shouldn't be overlooked. They're my treasures. They're, they're, they represent all of my fantasies from the past. Uh, they, they represent um, my, my primary hobby, which has become my primary business. And um, of course you hate to see it disappear forever. Martin Hill cherishes his beloved collection of film memorabilia. Sadly, though, many of these cinematic memories are slowly decaying. Some of the most priceless pieces of Hollywood history are housed in Martin's dilapidated bowling alley, located in the small town of Midland, North Carolina. Motion picture cameras from Planet of the Apes, The Ten Commandments, Lawrence of Arabia, and this camera from 2001, A Space Odyssey, are among the countless items in his collection. These are some of the film industry's most precious treasures, but they are in grave danger, subject to rust, disrepair, or being scrapped altogether. Martin Hill cannot be the only guardian of the cinematic collection. Help us continue Martin's story and keep these important pieces of history alive. But I was wondering, Martin, long term, where would you like this gear to be? Uh, my first sense on this is that I would like for it to survive. <laughs>